I saw a tweet from Tolly about the Supervolt and MSOL. Looks interesting. Could you provide some feedback and analysis? Again, thank you for bringing this to my attention. I wasn't sure I'm going to do a very short view, uh, but it probably does require a lot more work. So first of all, there's a thing now called Supervolt Mechanism, and this is the MSOL Supervolt, and it leverages recursive borrowing and lending of MSOL and SOL to amplify yields for MSOL. Now, this has been done on other chains in the past, but this one is a little bit interesting. So, for example, users can deposit MSOL into a vault, earn up to 15% yield, compared to 6.5% when deposited MSOL alone. And deposited MSOL is used to borrow SOL, convert to MSOL, and restake it effectively, multiplying the yield. Okay, following me so far. A visual of this looks kind of like this. Supervolt, swap your SOL for MSOL. Uh, other people borrow SOL, and then the Drift has that lending program. It's not unlike what happens in other uh, DeFi protocols out there, but this is very SOL specific and MSOL. There's also the Drift protocol, which you saw in the graphic there. Uh, the It is um, open sourced uh, DeFi protocol on Solana. It allows staking assets as collateral to borrow other assets, such as depositing USDC to borrow SOL. And the yield source, this is important. Yields in the SuperVault come from the implied appreciation of MSOL compared to SOL minus borrowing costs on Drift. So it sounds like a dream, but remember, there's a lot of risks with this type of stuff too. So just to highlight the risks, you have DPEG risk, i.e. there's a risk of MSOL deviating from the SOL price. That could trigger liquidations if a DPEG occurs. We all know about DPEGs, even Tether DPEGed a couple of weeks ago by the tune of a few pennies. Mr. Hammer, thank you so much. Liquidity risk. Um, extreme depegging could affect liquidity, make it challenging to liquidate MSOL positions swiftly. And then you got your smart contract and user interface risk even. As with any DeFi product, there are, can be vulnerabilities in smart contracts or an operator error can result in unexpected uh, behavior or a loss of funds. And finally, uh, not finally, liquidation risk. Uh, leverage staking carries a risk of liquidation if a margins ratio becomes unstable, leading to the sale of collateral. We've seen another DeFi protocol. Sometimes they DPEG kind of on purpose to wipe people out and then it bounces right back. Beware of that. Always be paranoid. And finally, Oracle risk. The SuperVault relies on external oracles for price data. And if they screw up, if they ship an incorrect data into the actual platform, it could result again in more liquidations and substantial losses. So again... There's no such thing as a free lunch, ladies and gentlemen. You can play with this with a very small percentage of your bag, but do not, do not put your whole bag there.